Hello children, this video class is an initiative of Shiv Jyoti Educational Group. I am Shavya Vyas and I gladly welcome you all to my social science class. Today we shall be doing chapter 12 people in our lives. In this chapter we shall be discussing about the different people around us who help us directly and indirectly and make our lives easier for us. Let's say you have your baiji or your maid servant who help you, you have your postman who help you, you have your watchman, you have your vegetable vendor. So these are all the people who help us in our daily lives. Okay. So in this lesson you will learn about people who help us like teachers, doctors, police and postal workers. So these are the four important people whom we are going to discuss today. So let's start with our teachers. After our parents, it is our teachers who play a very important role in our lives. Okay? So they help us, they guide us, they teach us and they lead us to lead a better life as better human beings and a more successful people. So let us discuss the different roles that our teachers play. Our teachers. So what are the different roles they play in our lives? First. They teach us how to read and write. They teach us how to read and write. There are many teachers who teach various subjects. Various subjects like maths, science, social science, Hindi, English. These are the various subjects that our teachers teach in our school. Then they also teach us art and craft. They teach us singing and dancing. Singing and dancing. And most importantly, Teachers, teachers, good habits, manners, and values. So, other than the subjects, teachers always also teach you the importance of good habits, manners and values. So let's come to the next topic, the doctor. So during this COVID crisis, you must have realized how important doctors are and how risky their lives is because during the lockdown, we were the ones who were sitting safe at home while the doctors were the ones who risked their lives to save the people around us, to save all the sick people around us. So let us discuss about the various roles of a doctor in our lives. Okay, when we are ill or when we are sick, let's say you had fever, so then who do you go to? We go to the doctor and the doctor, he prescribes medicines. The doctor prescribes medicines. He tells us what to eat. How long to take rest during our illness? And we also go to him for vaccination. Vaccination against diseases like polio. For vaccination against diseases like 
polio, smallpox, diphtheria, etc. Okay, and if you are seriously ill, if you become more ill or seriously ill, then the doctor advises you to admit yourself to the hospital. And in the hospital, the doctors and the nurses take very good care of you till you recover completely from your sickness. Okay, so. When we are very ill, our doctor advises us to go to a hospital and in the hospital, the doctors and nurses working there look after us and they ensure that you have recovered from your sickness. Every city has one or more hospitals. You see there are many people living in the city. So because of that many hospitals, you will find many hospitals in the cities. And many villages have dispensaries or clinics to treat the sick. So dispensaries and clinics, they are much smaller in size than the hospital because the number of people living in villages, they are very few. So because of that in villages, instead of finding big, very big hospitals, you will find dispensaries or clinics. Okay. So, where there are no dispensaries, the government sends mobile dispensaries, okay. So, where you cannot find dispensaries in villages, the government has allotted mobile dispensaries. What is a mobile dispensary? It is a van with a doctor and a nurse who go around carrying medicines in the van. So, whenever they come across any accidents or a sick person, they immediately treat them going to their place. That is the patients like in hospital what happens? We go to the hospital, right? From our house, we go to the hospital. But in case of mobile dispensaries, the doctor, nurse go along with the medicines to the sick person and they treat them wherever they are. So that makes it convenient for the people in villages where transport is not as available as you find in cities. A mobile dispensary is a van with a doctor, nurse and some medicines. The van goes from village to village treating the sick. That is, it, does, it is not restricted to just one village. It is restricted. It, it covers few villages, few number of villages. Okay. Next you have a veterinary doctor. This was your general doctor. Now we will learn about veterinary doctor or it is commonly called as a vet. So who is a vet? An animal doctor is called a veterinary doctor or a vet in short. Okay, And this doctor treats sick and injured animals. Now let's come to the police. The police. Like all the others, the police play a very, very important in our lives. How? They maintain law and order of the place. Okay? They ensure that no wrongdoing happens, in, happens around us. They maintain law and order of the place and they protect our They protect our life and property. <coughs> and they also help us in finding missing people. These are the main functions of the police that is they maintain law and order of the place, they protect our life and property and they help us find missing people. Okay, so the most important duty of the police is to maintain law and order that is they make sure that everybody follows law and no wrongdoing is happening in the society. They help to catch people 
who do not follow the law. So, then anybody who breaks the law, for example, who breaks the law? Let us say there is a thief trying to break into your house and he may even have stolen things from your house. So, the police helps in catching the thief and helps you get back your belongings that the thief had stolen. So, and they also help to protect our life and property. Our life is protected and even your property or things that belong to you that is also protected. You must have seen a police post or a police station in your neighborhood. So, what is the police station? This is the place where the police works that is police ka office hum police station kehte hain. It is here that the police work. work. And whenever we have a problem, uh, we can always go to the police station or call the police station for help. Let us say you lost your mobile and you want to file a complaint for that. So, where do you go? You go to the police station, file a complaint there and that is how you get your work done in the police station. In big cities, Mobile police vans patrol all the time. Patrol means they take rounds all the time. Have you seen during the lockdown who was taking, who was patrolling all the time? It was the police patrolling all the time to make sure that the people of that locality are strictly following the COVID lockdown. So, in, to ensure that people do not roam around, the police used to patrol all the time or take rounds all the time. So, and these vans also attend to accidents on the road. Let us say some accident happened. So, immediately if the mobile policeman was in the vicinity, they would surely attend to the accidents. And the police also help to find people who have gone missing. Missing people ko bhi dhunne mein madad karte police. Next you have the traffic police. So, where do you find the traffic police? You find the traffic police at the traffic crossing. This is the traffic crossing and this is where the traffic police is posted all the time. So, from here he controls the entire place. What does he control? He controls, he ensures that the traffic runs smoothly. There are no traffic jams or accidents and this is the main role of the traffic police. So, because he is also risking his life in fulfilling his duty, we must always respect them and follow the traffic rules sincerely. Okay? Now, let us come to the postal worker. Okay? We read in an earlier lesson that we can send and receive messages through the postal services that is in the previous chapter communication mean in the previous chapter chapter 11 means of communication I had discussed that we can receive and send messages through the postal service it is postal system is one of the means of communication. Today we are going to discuss how the, tra uh, how the letter or mail or money order or parcel travels from the sender to the receiver. This is where the journey of your letter starts. So from where does it start? You write a letter, you put an envelope in it, you stamp it and you proceed to put it in the post box or the letter box. Okay? So, the person who is writing the letter is called the sender. Okay? If, you, if I am writing or if Ram is writing the letter, he is the sender and if Neil is receiving the letter, he is the receiver. Okay? And it is put in an envelope and it is sent to the post box. First the letter is put in an envelope, then you put a stamp to the depending on the place you, that you want to send, then you put that letter in the post box, okay. Then what happens? The postman collects all the letters from the post box and in his transport, he takes it to the post office, 
okay and in the post office it is stamped again first it is your stamp that you had put in your letter and over it the people or the postal workers they put a bigger stamp on your letter and it is sorted or arranged according to the place to which it is sent and again these letters all the places that is going to one place let's say you are sending a letter to delhi so all the letters going to delhi will be put in one big bag okay let's say you want to send a letter to delhi okay so all the letters from that particular post office going to delhi will be put in one big bag one common bag and this letter will be transported in a police van or a train or an aeroplane okay depending on the destination and it will be sent to the receiver's home okay so again it will reach the receiver's post office first and from the receiver's post office the postman working there will deliver it to the receiver's house now let's quickly look at the journey of a letter or a parcel it can be a letter it can be a parcel or it can also be a money order <coughs> what happens first let's say ram okay ram is the sender that is the one who is writing the letter and sending it okay so ram is the sender so what does he do he takes a stamped letter he takes a stamped letter puts it in the post box and from the post box the postman collects all the letters okay the postman collects all the letters and what does the postman do he takes it to ram's post office and from the post office the letters are sorted and ram wants to send to neel who's neel neel is ram's friend okay he wants to send a letter to neel so this from the post office it will be taken to delhi how will it go to delhi either by van or train okay it will be taken to delhi usually by train okay and from there it will reach the delhi post office from the delhi post office the letter will be collected by the postman okay from the post office it will be collected by the postman and what does the postman do he delivers it to neel's house so this is the journey of a letter okay now let's look at this in villages there may be just one post worker postal worker so because village is small in area because of that one postal worker is enough to deliver the letters of the entire village but that's not the case in big towns and cities in big towns and cities big towns and cities have many post offices with many postal workers you will find a post office in every area and many postal workers working in that post office and each postal worker delivers in a fixed area so each postal worker or each postman has a particular area and he delivers letters only to that particular area heat cold or rain 
nothing stops the postal workers from doing their duty so no matter what the weather is whether it is hot or cold or rainy a postman will always keep delivering your letters to you safely so the next time you see a postal worker greet him or her with a smile be kind to the postal worker because he is always doing his duty without a break irrespective of what the weather conditions are so these are the various people who have played a very important role in our lives now let's come to the book work and copy work of this chapter okay now let's start with our book work for this i want you to open your page page number i want you to open your textbook page number 75 okay start with book work exercise a to whom will the following go for help that is to whom will we go if we have this work let's start with one konika wants to get her uniform stitch so then where will konika go she will go to a tailor to get her uniform stitch the tap in john's bathroom is leaking so where will he go he will go to a plumber who will repair his tap apokla has suffered a serious burn so when her hand is burned where will she go she will go to a doctor to treat her burn ali's car has broken down when his car is broken down he will go to a car mechanic to repair it gurpreet needs to get her shoe repaired so to get her shoe repaired she will go to a cobbler now let's come to exercise b write three true or t for true and f for false statements first question big towns and cities have only one post office which is a false statement so write f big towns and cities have many post offices question 2 a mobile dispensary moves from village to village it is a true statement so write t beside it question 3 a doctor for animals is called a vet that is also true a vet is a short form of veterinary doctor question 4 postal workers help to find missing people it is a false statement who helps us to find missing people the police helps us to find the missing people question 5 are teachers teach us to read and write it is a true statement so write true now let's come to the multiple choice questions in the same page page 75 question 1 in india Teachers Day celebrates the birthday of A Jawahar Lal Nehru, B A P J Abdul Kalam, and C Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan or S Radha Krishnan, as you know. So, on his birthday, on his birth anniversary, we celebrate Teachers Day. Question two: After collecting the letters from the letter box, the postal worker A delivers the letters to the people. B takes the letters to the post office C takes the letters to the railway station and the correct option is B the postal worker takes the letters to the post office and question 3 people who control traffic are called a traffic police and question 4 a doctor who treats sick and injured animals is a veterinary doctor or a vet Now let's start with copy work of this chapter. Draw the red margin here. Okay. Then in the first line, write chapter twelve. Underline this in red. Then in the next line, write people in our lives. Underline this also in red. Then write define here. Underline this in red. And let's come to first one. Law. Okay. Underline this also in red. What is law? These are rules made by the government. Okay. So what is the law? These are the rules made by the government for the welfare of the people, which all of us are expected to follow. Now let's come to the next definition. Write number two, dispensary, and underline this also in red. 
what is a dispensary a room where sick people are treated ok. So, I had mentioned that you can find dispensaries and clinics in villages and dispensary it is smaller in size than the hospital and it is mainly used in villages. Now, let us come to your question and answers in the next page write answer the following underline this in red and do not forget your red margin here write question 1 when do we go to a doctor answer we go to a doctor when we are ill or when we are sick and let us come to question 2 what does the traffic police do the traffic police controls the traffic on roads. So, what does the traffic police do? The traffic police controls the traffic on roads. Now, draw the red line here, leave a line and come to question 3. What is the duty of a postal worker? Answer a postal worker delivers letters, parcels, and money orders. Finish this answer, draw a red line here leave a line and come to the next question. Question 4, name any 4 people who play an important role in our lives. Answer 1, postman, 2, doctor, 3, teacher and 4, policeman. So, this concludes the copy work of this chapter. We shall meet again in live class where I will be explaining this to you again in detail. I hope you have a great time. Thank you.